people welcome back to some more cyber dark week so today for fake card friday we're actually looking at a fake cyber dark card this card was made a long time ago this card was actually posted on Yu-Gi-Oh cardmaker.net form november 12 2015 people it has almost been two years since this card has been made so of course they had no idea that cyber darks would be getting some more support so we can go ahead and compare and contrast the new support, which is called if this was a real card, and see if this card was real, would we play it, and how great it would be. So today, we are looking at the fake card of Cyber Dark Apocalypse Dragon. So Cyber Dark Apocalypse Dragon is a dark machine fusion effect monster who is level 9, with 3100 attack and 2100 defense. His materials, 1 Cyber Dark monster plus 1 level 7 or higher dragon type monster. So... As you guys know, before their updated support, you kind of had to throw in some dragons with the cyber darks because, you know, the cyber darks are, hey, we're machines, but we cut dragons. So you got to kind of fuse the two, you know, types together. And it was kind of awkward. But of course, you know, they have some, you know, some powerful, some decent dragons, you know. Uh, definitely back in the day, you throw in red, them, but maybe you could kind of combine like maybe like a blue eyes deck to think it's a little bit more consistent. Or maybe you could just go ahead and do a red eyes deck with cyber darks effect. But the matter still remains is that cyber darks do have some kind of synergistic things with dragons. So uh, back then they did, still to this day they still do. So one cyber dark monster, it doesn't even have to be, you know, cyber dark dragon. Just one cyber dark monster plus one level seven or higher dragon type monster, whether that be red or, or dark armed or whatever, you can do it. So let's go ahead and look at the effect. So must be fusion summoned with the above materials and it cannot be special summoned by other ways. So if it's dead, it is dead. You know, it has to be fusion summoned. But if this card is fusion summoned, you banish all machine type monsters in the graveyard. So both players' graveyard. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of monsters banished times 300. So with your Cyber Dark deck with a nice handful of machines, and depending on what your opponent plays, this could burn for a nice chunk of damage. So uh, that effect's not terrible. It really isn't. All right. And. Then the next effect is unaffected by spells slash trap effects and by effects from any monster whose original level slash rank is lower than this card's current level. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? Mm. If you guys are wondering why, I, I don't get it. Towers. Towers. Apocalypse Port Towers. Remember the card? The card that's actually on the ban list? So, yeah, I think that's pretty much ripped straight from Towers, you know? Just the fact that this card is unaffected by spells and traps and any monsters whose level of rank is lower than this, unaffected. Uh, and then, keep in mind, this is level 9, so, you know, that is ni a nice handful of things that this card is unaffected by. Um, and, you know, could easily see similar to Towers, but uh, this is m much more difficult to uh, summon than Towers. Uh, but, you know, it is a dark machine type monster, so you can... You know, summon it with Overload Fusion, so that is a way you can go ahead and do it. This is card was real, and just the way that just how strong it is in the boss monster, I can definitely see uh, if this card was real, you throwing in, you know, your Cyber Darks with a little bit of blue eyes or whatever, just to get that level 7 or higher dragon type monster, just to summon this guy, definitely. So, uh, we actually got some notes from the person who created this card, so let's go ahead and just read it. So, uh, the person who created this card said, I had this card around and decided to look at it again. Okay, so apparently this is the first item he made. Uh, instead of the last effect, it originally summoned a machine type monster uh, in a similar fashion to Redim, because I'm assuming Redim would be one of his materials, but I found uh, the effect to be bland and boring. Not, not really, you know, you can uh, possibly summon back your uh, cyber dark or cyber darkness, you know. So uh, now looking at it, you know, almost two years into the future, that effect to summon back from the graveyard would not be terrible. Uh, when I thought about the poor recently banned towers, you know, I port towers and realized uh, it would be nice to take a similar approach instead, which would also be fitting and flavorful considering the name I had given to the card Apocalypse, of course. So uh, some of the perks and trivia going for this card, it has 3100 attack to conveniently get over Cosmo Darkness Star. Oh my god, back when you were worried about Cosmo Darkness Star, right? This, this card definitely dating itself, alright? 2100 defense is reference to Cyber Dragon. It's 2100 attack. I don't, what does this card have to do with Cyber Dragon? You know, it's just Cyber Dark, not Cyber Dragon. Uh, can be special summon or fusion, yes. Uh, the Banishment Burn effect is mandatory and also uh, from both graves, yep. Uh, the protection effect is slightly better than Towers and also includes continuous North effects, okay. As long as their levels and rank is lower, okay. And on the other hand, like Towers, it's level 9, so it's vulnerable to uh, low and rank 10s. Um, I believe it was levels who was lower than it, so I believe Towers was affected by level 10 when it was level 10. But this guy would be affected by level 9s 
Lovely Little Rings. Not that there's too many of those in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I guess you could get Trish, so that's definitely a thing. Uh, overall, it's a it's a fine card, you know. Uh, if it was real, I definitely would see Cyberdark Stone and you know some kind of dragon engine. Like I said, Blue Eyes would be a fine choice uh, to run this guy. And overall, like I said, I mean, I can't give him a thumbs down. He has tower effect, you know, uh, Apocalypse Force tower effect right there in his effect. So overall, he's a thirty one hundred beater. So uh, fine card, fine card. Uh, looking at a fake card for almost two years ago, but still. All right, so anyway, tell me what you guys think about Cyber Dark Apoc Apocalypse Dragon in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday, and we are done with Cyber Dark Week. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next time with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content as such. All right, people, thanks for watching.